It's been amazing. Um, a lot of things happening here. I'm so inspired with the pictures that I see. Speaking from the perspective of as a photographer, I think I'm so much inspired. It's been a long time because of I started vlogging and things. I've put my documentary photography aside for some time. It's like I don't pay attention to it. But coming here has really inspired me. And as I awaken the spirits and the love I have for documentary photography, and I think I'm going to start on it. I have a page of my documentary on Instagram, which I'll share the link below. And you know, once a footballer, always a footballer, as we say. And I'm so attached attracted to this picture because I see here with a white man actually I don't know the details of this picture who are the people in it but I see a white man in a jersey and if I could recall this jersey really looks like House of Folk yes House of Folk the mighty House of Folk it's, um, it's a team here in Accra here it's been over 160 106 years and I see a man with um, the first hit box <laughs> and it, it could tell the, this picture could tell how then you could see football a lot of people were young by then could not see or picture. sometimes I try to picture how Accra and Ghana was late 90s but because if someone don't document those kind of things how can we enter or go back into those generations like those times to see how things are so it's it's really interesting here i I'm, I'm so much in love with this place a lot of things and i see cassius clay i don't know if maybe you might know cassius clay cassius clay is a well-renowned boxer um they call him muhammad ali yeah and explain to me or tell me who this great man is and i see him in as of folk jersey and so exciting um but I have some people to hear. If, if, let, let, me, let me try and see if I can talk to them. Hi, my name is uh, Augustus. I came here this um, Sunday with my family to have a look at this newly opened uh, Nobuki exhibition space. And um, I think it's a very exciting space. Looking back at the work that's been displayed, um, and the way in which the building has been done. I'm an architect also, so I'm very appreciative of the kind of building that's been designed by um, my fellow colleagues uh, who both work here and in Austria, Babel and uh, Rosemary, uh, who was a local consultant on the project. My name is Kafi Pois, Ghana-based photographer and filmmaker. Okay, I'm here at the Nubuke Foundation, James Banos ex photo exhibition. And it's very refreshing to see pictures that go way back to the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, 90s. Then I wasn't born. <laughs> that's, that's one of the things that excites me, that then I wasn't born. And the type of camera he used in taking these pictures makes you really appreciate the work that went into the pictures he took. I mean, you see pictures that date so way back, and yet the quality the composition, the editing. I mean, every picture has a story it tells. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? My name is Nia Yi. Hello. Yeah. You've been here, you've been seeing some of the pictures. What are your thoughts? Well, first of all, taking back in history. Okay. And it's very interesting observing the history of the country um, on, on, the, on the pictures. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the history as in the events, but even the the fashion. Okay. Yeah. Um, I see how to book. Yes, and yes. I see the gist. <laughs> uh, I'm sure my children do not recognize it. Yes. But to me, it was a part of when I was growing up. So mm -hmm. I swear I say I didn't have this, I had to book. Yeah. yeah. So I like um, that, that experience. Yeah. I think it's a very good thing. So, what's yeah. your name? Berma. Berma. Yes. Berma. Berma. Berima. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Are you please? Harold Jr. Oh, Harold Jr. So, okay. So, I think these are the kids, the kids of the man I spoke to. How, how do you find this place? I love the building. Yeah. You love the building? Love, yeah. The art of this I love as well. Yeah. But I love the building, but I love the art. I'm being very yeah. <laughs> okay. Not that I don't, I'm not trying to discredit the in any way. I think the building caught your attention. That very much. Of it. But I am a huge, we are huge fans of architecture. Oh, huge. I see. We came here for the building first before we came for the yeah. Oh, I see. So I, are you into architecture, something so like that? Uh, we follow it a lot, very okay. passionately. 
we know about different architects, we try and embed it in the different projects we try to work on in our own little way. But yeah, that's, that's, that's as far as we go. Oh, okay. My name is Albert. What can you say about this exhibition? I've heard about James Banner for a while. Okay. Like he was Ghana's first proper photographer. Mm -hmm. And I think he has this place in Jamestown. And I've passed by the building a few times back. I didn't get a chance to see his works. Okay. So I decided to come around to have a view of all his works. And I'm very impressed with the quality of his work and the quality of the building also. Because I'm a graduate architect. So okay. wow. I heard and saw the building on the internet. So I decided to come and see for myself. And I was actually blown away the moment I walked in. Mm -hmm. And looking at the way the exhibition has been curated, it's very, very excellent work. It shows Banner's worth of experience based on how he's divided the iconic things, the sports, the music, the muses and all the other things. And it just goes to show Ghana has a lot to offer, but I think the issue is how we share it. One just made me start laughing because Police then times were standing on, <laughs> I don't know, they had to stand on a wooden something to direct traffic. And it was so funny. And the outfit they wear back then, uh, wow. It makes you see Ghana before your time, which I really, really appreciate. And I encourage everyone to visit this place. So it, it's open for everyone to come. And I encourage all Ghanaians, um, international community, Everyone come in and see the beauty of Ghana years before you were born and appreciate photography, the art, and the work that went into this. It made me really, really appreciate photography, seeing works that live on, even outliving the photographer, the, your work can live to tell stories about you, your art. And one thing I'm also excited about is that it's not just a gallery that you come and see pictures. James Banner also has a photo book, a photo book with his works in here. And I think the price is just 270 cities. I encourage everyone to order for a copy. You have all these pictures in here with the works, so you can place your order and yeah, it's a nice way to support him. I think uh, the building is the kind of building that uh, we need, uh, the kind of space that is needed to exhibit history, culture, um, and to begin to show the way um, in what kind of buildings we should be building, sensitive buildings on our landscape. So it's a very wonderful experience, um, the use of the Louvre windows, connection to the views with those uh, designs of large windows, and the use of concrete in its raw state really helps to bring the pictures out and to capture the work that is being exhibited, Bano's work, which is just amazing, thinking about what he, he did at the time he did and what he's been able to capture. This is, it captures the best of what we are as Ghanaians. So yeah, this is how I feel. You've been a Ghanaian, you've seen it all, but our generation haven't seen it back then. How do you try to explain to people, because they might not really, because there's, if you look here, there's this one picture which um, there's a policeman standing on the box, which I quite remember those days I saw quite, some yes, of them. Yes. They stand on a wooden something, yeah, they're, they're direct track. But a lot of the new generation here don't know. So looking at those pictures, so, how does it really communicate to the young ones? That's exactly uh, uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do. Uh, so I am telling them the experience that I went through uh, as a child. Unfortunately, the images, the images here Describe it. For example, I see this picture. Yeah, the, the guy with, young the, boy with the young boy the microphone, with the, wooden microphone, something like that. Yeah, this is the one here. Oh, okay. Uh, the two young boys. Oh, okay. Yeah, they yeah. are wearing a, a tie. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. And I can relate to it because when I was that age, this was how you dress on a Sunday to church. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So they. By showing in the picture, I can describe to them how we used to dress in church and so on and so forth. So it's a good thing for them as well. They are seeing the history mm -hmm. 
physically. Wow. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Your name once again? Harold. Harold. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. How, how do you relate with pictures that were taken way back more than 35 years? As in documenting the history of Ghana mm. that a lot of the division haven't seen. How do you relate? It's amazing. The comment I made yesterday at the opening when I attended was very simple. I said, take me back to the past. It shows you that we have a beautiful past, that we have a beautiful history that we are an amazing people as Ghanaians and nobody can tell us otherwise. So I think this exhibition is excellent. I think a lot of people should come and see this to know who we are. And maybe, you know, when you look at the shape of the building itself, it begins to bring you back to that discussion of Sankofa, which is a basic thing. We need to go to the past to get the best of what is in the past. I think that's what this exhibition is showing for me, the best of the past and to reinforce who we are as Ghanaians to help us to know where we go. I mean, without the, the past, we have no future. So that's that's what this this exhibition really speaks to me. Because yeah. imagine if all the young photographers come here and learn from this and see how they categorize their work and even share it on the internet. This is like, a, how should I put it? Inspiration through education all at once that take what you do seriously and one day there could be an exhibition and people would come and work. How do you connect with all these pictures? It just tells me what happened before. There are a few images that just show that Accra hasn't really changed that much. It's just that things have added on. A few others are very intriguing. It shows you that Ghana has come a long way. But the issue is not everybody knows because the media doesn't focus on, on our history that much. Maybe I've noticed a lot of people don't really like history. So it's like, we need to flood people with more of the history, whether it's Facebook, yeah. Instagram, wherever. Like we pour it on them like a vomit till, till they get used to it. But it's very exciting. The quality of the work is, I think the black and white even look better than no, the colour. But which one of the pictures are your, is, is your favourite? I would say the the child on four. Because okay. it looks like a random shot. How do you see the pictures? How do you connect with these pictures? Like coming here? Uh, it kind of links me to the stories I've heard about the Ghanaian history. Okay. Yeah. Um, some of them have give me like a mix of emotions like that one i find it very funny because one? that one the, 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 yeah the car that flipped over oh the car that has almost sorted yeah okay because it's in front of the accra uh, yes uh, 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 way? Yeah. yes and and the guy who who crashed was probably intoxicated somehow something like that <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's funny yeah one thing i like about the pictures though is that some of them are black and white and yeah. some of them are colored so yeah Whenever I see old pictures, mm -hmm. it can obviously life back then was in color, but I never see the colored part. So seeing the colored part gives me an idea of how the clothes used to be like, the textures, all those kind of things. So I like I like the fact that I can both sides, both black and white, and both in color. So okay. I, I appreciate you know, that. Mo most of the pictures were taken. Let me say when we were not born. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how do you relate it back then? Okay. How, how does it make you picture Ghana way back? If I'm being honest with you. I don't see a huge difference okay. in our cultures uh, then and now. From the speeches from we were seeing, we are as traditional today as we were back then. From what I'm seeing, the different professions that were prominent. Okay. Uh, being a priest, being a lawyer, being whatever. They, were, they are still as relevant as they are in today's, in today's society. So, Ghana, I wouldn't say has changed so much. Maybe a few things have changed. More cars on the road, population has increased. Those kind of things have made it change slightly. But at the core of it, our modus of is the same. We haven't changed much as Ghanaians, I think. Okay, so Berma, what, what about you? Um, I think I, I agree with him. Uh, the, co the colored ones and the, and the black and white ones, is, mm -hmm. the, the colored ones make, make me realize that it's real. Because a lot of the, the pictures, when they are black and white, I kind of I, I don't relate to it because um, because I live in like yeah world. we live in a digital world where everything is like a, everything is to the pixel mm -hmm. and the you know sharpness. So when things are when things from back then are, are in color, it, it kind of gives me like a 
Yeah. Okay. But yeah. It, it, have you noticed way back mm-hmm. we were not into colored pictures by then? Yeah. We so were. and a lot of people appreciate black and white pictures because it gets you more connected as to Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like when things change or when things become less common, they become more attractive. Okay. Yeah. More valuable. Yeah, more valuable. So aside this picture, which one is your favorite? The funny one. Mm, my favorite, I would have to say, is the police. The man and the, and the man standing next to the woman, and the police woman standing next to the oh, okay. policeman. Yeah. Okay. That's also uh, one of my favorite. Uh, yeah. in, in junior, what about you? Which one is your favorite? Um, one between the picture of the chief with okay. his two. Uh, the one in the palanquin. Uh, the one, no, no, no. The, oh, the one, one on the, in the yeah. yeah. Two, okay. Exactly. With the two. Between guys. that one and the one with uh, Conor Kramer in the because I'm a huge fan of this. Oh, okay. Wow. I think it's somewhere over there. Wow. Yeah, nice. Great. Guys, thank you so much for having me on my channel. No, no problem. I'm so glad I have you. And thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay. So.